All right, so today I have an interview for you guys with PlayStation. Absolutely awesome that I got this opportunity um, to go up to Dublin and record an interview with PlayStation. Tony, um, the host, was absolutely incredible. Made it, uh, made it really easy. He was easy to talk to, and uh, I just had a blast doing it. They put some clips up on their socials, PlayStation Ireland on Twitter and Instagram, and they put the three minute interview that I'm about to show you up on their social medias as well. So if you want to check it out over there, you can do uh, or else just keep watching here. Enjoy the video. Uh, we talk about my favorite PlayStation games and what it takes to become a streamer, I guess, or, or a video content creator. Enjoy. Hey. Today I'll be meeting the Apex Hound, a gaming colossus and YouTube star, to discuss his life behind the controller and to find out what it takes to make it in the world of streaming. Let's meet Turlock Healy. Turlock, bro, what's the crack? Hi, Tony, how we doing? Yeah, good, man. Do you want to play some games with me? Yeah, let's do it. Great, this way. Let's All go. Right. So Turlock, you've been uh, on YouTube for about eight years. What's that been like? Kind of, you were streaming games when you started on YouTube, were you? I wasn't streaming when I started. I was just kind of uploading a few random videos here and there. I was, yeah, that's kind of what got me into it, and then just evolved. YouTube has evolved quite a lot since I first started, and um, so has gaming as well, actually. So it's been uh, it's been fun to fun to grow with it. I was asking off camera if you were uh, somewhat of a trophy hunter. You said you were more or less that for uh, for for Horizon. Yeah, certain games, yeah. Like Horizon, just the gameplay really clicked with me and the world and everything like that. So I kind of just, it was easy to go for that Platinum. Are there any, um, are there any PS5 games you're, you're most looking forward to? Um, God of War Ragnarok. Oh, man. Horizon Forbidden West, definitely. Yeah. I just loved the first two uh, of them on the PS4 there. What did you think of the, the gameplay footage that they, they showed? Of God of War there recently, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, no, it looks brilliant. Yeah, yeah it looks, um, I'm excited to actually go to... Um, to the new locations that were locked in the last game, definitely so. Yeah. Yeah, Gran Turismo 7 then would be another one. Those would probably be my top three at the moment, I would say. Can I talk a bit more about your kind of history of playing with the PlayStation? Who's your favorite uh, PlayStation character of all time? Nathan Drake, easy. Oh yeah, you yeah, just no. you had that straight away. No, I love Nathan Drake. He's always been my favorite. Yeah? Yeah, I played uh, Uncharted back in the day and that was kind of what really got me into the PlayStation 3 and then as it, it just grew and that just became my favorite franchise over time. He's just... The humor is something that I really appreciate with, with him. He's a funny guy. He's a funny guy. I also yeah. just love how he just, he could be this kind of like bored trope, but he just wears it. He, he's just, he's, he owns it, you know? Yeah, he's he, so nonchalant as well. Like he just does everything the way he wants to do it. Can I throw um, some quick fire questions at you? Do. These are some questions, not to think too hard. I'm just Top of the head. Top of the head. All right, your uh, house is on fire, God forbid. What game are you gonna grab? Uncharted 4, I mean, I said it before, but I think yeah. I'd have to. Yeah, or The Last of Us. Yeah? Those would be my two favorites, I think, yeah. What character would you like to be? You gotta say Nathan Drake. Um, <laughs> hang on one second. <laughs> All right. When you got your PlayStation 5, what was the first thing that really impressed you about it? Um, probably just the loading times, man. There was absolutely zero loading times. So it was incredible. It's, it's like jarring. it's not something you think about before you go into the generation, but then. Once you have it, it's really hard to go back. If you could put yourself in any video game world for the day, what would it be? Mm, no Man's Sky. Yeah? Yeah. No Man's Sky, there's just, a, there's so many different worlds and there's so many uh, different creatures and stuff like that when you're going through these worlds, I think it's magical. Yeah? Yeah. Turlock, man, thanks so much for coming, hanging out yeah. with me. Yeah, no hassle, thanks a million. PlayStation.